Hey guys, how are you all doing? So Dan from Trading with Dan here. This is our Bitcoin morning update. So we are gonna go straight over to those charts. So yeah, big week, big week I think for Bitcoin. Um, yeah, we were talking about last night <laughs> about basically this line that we drew. Uh, Bitcoin back testing this line and um, yeah, pretty much had a nice little, um, nice little rally off it. Um, up to the resistance around the 9,400 zone. Like I said, we've got to get over this 9,500, close a few four-hour candles above here in this zone and things. I think we'll, we'll, we'll start to look like we've got a really, really good chance of getting back above, back up to this um, 9,900 zone. Um, so yeah, that's good. I did also say that stock markets were looking weak, but I don't believe that they will um, basically stay stay where they were. So that's here you can see this is where they... Um, what are we on chart are we on now so they opened pretty low last night this isn't um the right one um oh either way either way they um they open quite low um if you can see on, if you can see on this chart here wait one sec if you can see on this chart over here um um see on this chart here look this is where we opened last night the futures and you can see we're making our way back up again now so um yeah <laughs> some great bit great bit of analysis there for you um, but yeah, so basically that's pulling the stuff, pulling the pulling the um, pulling Bitcoin back up, um, and it's pretty much I think it was to be expected. We have we have got this buyer that comes in in the uh, in the stock futures um, at um, at basically three o'clock in the morning I think Central Eastern time. Um, so yeah, <laughs> so that was uh, that was uh, that was an easy money trade that was, um, but not based on any sort of fundamental analysis, just based on just general market manipulation. Um, you do wonder though how much the market is conditioned to do these things, and then how self-fulfilling the um, the 3 a.m. prophecy is in itself. Um, but yeah, so anyway, so we got back up to this zone. Um, if we, yeah, like I said, we've really just got to get firstly, firstly above 9,500, um, just close above here. Then if, once we take out these candles here, um, you guys obviously, um, yeah, I mean, then we can make our way to the top. And then this zone is important as well here. This zone we've got, this whole box we're in. If we take out this zone, which is basically, it's the same one, I've just drawn it a little bit higher. If we take out this area here, which is pretty um, synonymous with this um um, overhead resistance also I think we'll take all of this out and we'll be back above 10,000 and then we just got to decide are we going to play in this zone for a minute or we're just going to go straight to the moon um, but yeah obviously the downside downside is pretty clear the downside obviously is becoming more and more clear <coughs> and the more the trend goes on as this trend line comes up um, so yeah I mean basically with this uh, with this wick low we've got here which which incidentally we did wick all the way down to this line we drew with this wick low we've got here with this um, trend line and with this um, support we've got, um, I think if we take basically 9,200 out, we'll see 9,000 and then just mid 8,000s in short order. And then we'll potentially get a bounce around around this zone here. Um, but I wouldn't, I mean, it's difficult. If that happens, um, obviously um, oscillators and stochastic trends basically are down. But I have also said we could be playing just sort of like a box, um, a reaccumulation or a redistribution box area. So we still could um, rally off here, invalidate this um, triangle, and just form a just form a an accumulation up here, um, or a distribution. I don't like to just pick one and say because obviously I'm then I'm implying that it's bullish or bearish. But either either just some sort of um, some sort of zone that we're going to stay trading in. But what I think is most likely though. Is that like I said? Is I think that um, I don't think the stock markets are going to be allowed to go down um, until at least um, after November. <laughs> um, so that means that um, I don't think Bitcoin's going to go down <laughs> at least until November. And Bitcoin's got a lot of pent up energy here. I mean, the Nas Nas Nasdaq is obviously um, around about its full time all time highs, full time highs, <laughs> full time score um, is all time highs. Um, but obviously, um, Bitcoin is like half its full all time high. So we do know there's the correlation and we do know obviously bitcoin is um in its history i think it's been um going up a bit faster percentage wise than the stock market so we've got a lot of room to run in bitcoin so i do think once we're once we once the market starts to perceive that we're out of the woods um with regarding sell-offs and i'm not talking about the economy and everything because like, obviously we know the economy is 
just non-existent practically. I'm just talking about asset prices like Venezuelan, Zimbabwe style um, asset price inflation. That's all I'm talking about. But yeah, as soon as we, 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 we realize that's basically what we've got going on, then I think Bitcoin will literally moon and within like six months of that happening, that realization happening, which I think could be realized, that realization could be realized soon, then that will trigger the point within about six months, I think we'll be at 30k Bitcoin. So that's my that's my that's my thoughts on that um but yeah but so far as this price action is concerned yeah like i said we've got we've got a lot of support down here we've got stock markets making a bit of a move up i mean by all means stock markets these futures can be rallying the futures get bought up um low volume out of hours um and then once the actual cash market opens people could be then taking that opportunity to sell sell into that strength um sell out of actual actual positions so you obviously got to take that into account and only because that could then have a negative effect on the price of bitcoin but yeah definitely always keep one eye on that keep an eye on the bond market that's the interest more interesting thing is that the the bond market is not really moving um not really moving from uh, basically sub seven percent yield on the um, sub 0.77 <laughs> percent yield yeah, those were the days weren't they a sub 0.7 percent yield <laughs> yield on the 10 year so that's not necessarily indicating a risk on and not necessarily backing up the moving stock markets but that but the, the 10 years yield can obviously um have a bit of a rally anyway so but yeah again um the volatility it's ridiculously low it's just flat lines flat line volatility um so we're expecting we are expecting a move i know we've got this descending triangle ascending triangle aka bullish formation but you could easily draw a line down here and have a a pennant and it's uh, just a symmetrical triangle which that obviously <clears throat> doesn't necessarily imply um bullish or bearishness it typically is a continuation pattern off the back of a bullish trend so that typically does imply bearishness but also sorry bullishness but also we could break obviously out of this this pattern we've got here um in which case we could then get the move down but also what what i'm trying to say also i mean i'm ever the optimist here this could be the trigger point breaking above this pennant this trend line here could be the trigger point that then flies us up based on this formation which then obviously triggers basically people buying based on this formation which then triggers people buying based on above these highs here which then triggers people um <laughs> basically get up to here and then people buying above here and you can you can that that is not a very um, that's not a, a complete moon boy um, um, scenario that I'm that I'm painting there. That's it's definitely it's definitely a realistic scenario. I will leave this drawn on actually because I, I leg legitimately do think this is um, something that we should potentially be paying attention um, at paying attention to that's the one but anyway yeah so that's about it this morning guys um i mean we can take our leave from stock markets um stock markets um month end is this month end is difficult for stock markets because we've got um we've got the quarterly end rebalancing um so um because stock, stocks have gone up then the rebalancing will obviously have to be selling stocks and buying bonds um so i don't know how long people are going to realize that that um that um, risk parity trade is not necessarily going to be that efficacious going forward in a in a in a in a secular um, inflationary <laughs> bull trend um whilst um yeah whilst yeah obviously when inflation is going up so yeah we'll just something they obviously obviously got to consider with that um that strategy that's been in play for a long time but um right so that's it guys remember this is not a financial advice i'm not a financial advisor always do your own research gold's looking good as well this morning gold and silver silver looking like it's pushing on 18 dollars so that's good 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 and um, right so i will speak to you um guys later